Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Anton, and hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day because we're going to be returning to one of my favorite bands, Motionless and White, and this time it is Cyberhacks. This is a big also shout out to Andre for letting me know about this song on the Discord. And um, yeah, one thing I've noticed about this one, I quickly like looked up Genius because we're going to look at the lyrics after probably, and I saw that this is actually not produced by Drew Folk, who... I, I feel like Drew is like, he's my favorite producer. Like he, I feel he just gets the best, I always say it's like the best vocal takes and emotion out of vocalists that I've, I've seen. And this will be weird to listen to Motionless and White without Drew Folk because he did the entire last record. And, and I think he did Time Bomb too, which was just probably my favorite Motionless and White song. That and Code, I think. Um, But yeah, so we'll see if they can retain, you know, just the emotional quality that Drew is able to give them. Because apparently this is Lindsay someone. I forget. But anyway, before we get into this one, as always, if you guys have any song requests for me and you want to vote on what artists come on the channel every single week, uh, join everybody in the Discord. Link down below. And if you want guaranteed song requests and you want to check out all of our full album reactions, join everybody in the Patreon. Also link down below. We're also doing Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory right now for that. And that's it. So let's get into Motionless and White, Cyberhex. This has like a cyberpunk kind of vibe to the look of it. Which is cool, because I love cyberpunk stuff. Ooh. Great production so far. Yo. Whoa. This is cool so far. I pull the sun from the sky to freeze the future of time and drift as one through the end finest. I found my asylum inside your armor cat and eyes. I kill to kiss a resistance. Okay, this is really interesting so far. This doesn't sound like anything I've heard by them. Um, I do like, like, Time Bomb hit me a lot harder. Like, this one I find interesting. I don't know if I'm sold on it yet. I'm sold on the idea behind it. I'm sold on the, the vibe. I love the kind of this, like, futuristic, you know thing I, I really like this whole thing like on um, blade runner i love i love sci-fi i love the aesthetics of this um just yeah the chorus i don't know if it's like fully hitting me yet it's definitely not fully hitting me yet and i yeah this is an interesting one definitely time bomb immediately blew me away this one might take a bit longer <laughs> change right now for them. I think it's really cool. I like those background vocals. Do you wanna live? Are you willing to die? When heaven falls, I will be your light. Love will survive. In this hell you are my paradise. Walk with me to the edge. 
Okay, what do we got? Directed by Logan Beaver and Ricky Olsen. Wow, man. Good job, Ricky. He's doing a lot of stuff. Like, a lot more stuff with the band. So, overall, although this was, I thought this was really cool. I thought it was really cool. Um, I didn't love it. Um, it is bold. And that's some awesome artwork. Scoring the end of the world. That That's some awesome artwork. I want to see if Time Bomb's going to be on the record. Because if it's not... No, it's not. So we might have an album that's more techie, like this. Um, that'll be interesting. Um, I, I'm just hoping, I think for me, um, yeah, that, that chorus didn't fully land with me. I, I, I definitely, like, I want something a bit more melodic. But then again, you know, you can't have everything melodic. That's the problem with singles, is that I think with singles, you expect everything to be, like, super catchy. And it's more on the album that things are allowed to be a bit out of the ordinary. You know, it's, that's the way I look at it. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm cool. Like, I, I like my singles to be upbeat, catchy, get my attention. Um, but also the whole point of a single, too, is sometimes to show off a new direction. Like, I think this is a good single because it shows off a really new kind of side of them. And my favorite part of this entire song was the ending. I thought that, like, when they when Ricky started adding more lead guitar in the back and they changed up at the bridge. I thought that was cool. But what, what was your, uh, what was your thoughts on this one? Let me know down below. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to help out with the YouTube algorithm, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And lastly, I want to give a big shout out to my tier three patrons. So we got David, Brianna, Gage, Kelly, Melissa, Sharon, Russ, and Mark. So shout out to all of you guys. And I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.